Assalamu alaikum and uh, bismillahir rahmanir rahim dear student and we were we are here with uh, a new topic and that is differential leukocyte count uh, simply we call it dlc differential leukocyte count my name is tanveer tara and i am lecturer at sarhad university of science and information technology so a dlc is the relative proportion of uh, different leukocyte expressed as a percentage and uh, the differential leukocyte count consists of identifying and counting the first 100 white blood cells encountered uh, this gives the percentage of the cells that are present Uh, for example if 25 of the 100 white blood cells were lymphocyte then the percentage of lymphocyte is 25% and what is the importance of uh, the dlc so it is usually to support the diagnosis of infectious like sometime we have a bacterial infection or viral infection then we can think for that uh, there is neutrophilia or lymphocytosis or for example in some uh, allergic condition uh, we have a high eosinophil count so there may be eosinophilia and uh, diagnosis of malignant blood disorder like uh, when we are performing dlc for a case which have more than 30% of blast then we can think about the leukemias that uh, it fall in the lymphocytic leukemia or it may be uh, myeloid leukemia so there is an importance of dlc and different disease and it's an important diagnostic tool and uh, in the cbc and uh, when we we are performing this on a peripheral smear so we call it manual dlc because sometime uh, we are not so much uh, confirm or not so much uh, assured on the automatic dlc a uh, while understanding the differential leukocyte count so it is compulsory that you should know the morphology of uh, these different type of cell and uh, normally we have uh, neutrophil eosinophil basophil and uh, two agranocyte that are lymphocyte and monocyte so these are different type of cell which are normally present in our peripheral blood smear and we are counting them uh, and they give the result as a percentage so this is neutrophil uh, eosinophil it's lymphocytes big cell monocyte and a granulated cell is basophil so the first one is neutrophil and uh, you are looking in this image that uh, these all are neutrophil uh, it has a diameter of 12 to 15 micron uh, 2 to 5 lobes and uh, it has clumped chromatin cytoplasm is pink to uh, pinkish and uh, normally they are present uh, uh, on a peripheral blood smear uh, so 40 to 70 percent and uh, whenever we are doing its absolute count so it uh, is 1500 to 8000 per microliter now what is absolute count so absolute count uh, is the exact count per microliter in whole wbcs like for example we have 4000 to 11000 per microliter this is a normal tlc normal total leukocyte count now we are thinking that what is the exact number of neutrophil per microliter so the exact number is called absolute count and it's always taken in per microliter so it may be 1500 to 8000 per microliter normally then we have eosinophil and uh, it is also 12 to 15 micron size uh, it is a bilobed having clumped chromatin uh, it has coarse orange red granules and uh, normally it is 1 to 6% and uh, its absolute count per microliter is 40 to 400 cells the other one is basophil and uh, it is also 12 to 15 micron uh, bilobed a uh, very clumped chromatin uh, large coarse granules uh, and uh, its uh, color is purplish 
or uh, obscuring the its the nucleus uh, we cannot see the nucleus more prominently over here and uh, normally uh, they are present in peripheral 0 to 1 percent absolute count is 10 to 100 per micro these are lymphocytes and uh, lymphocytes are of different types in the peripheral because some of them are small lymphocyte and some of them are large lymphocyte the small lymphocytes are uh, 9 to 12 micron and they are uh, more prominently present in the uh, peripheral smear but large lymphocytes are 12 to 16 micron uh, nucleus uh, it has a large nucleus round to intendant uh, fills the cells uh, clumps with chromatin and uh, cytoplasm is a peripheral as a peripheral rim of basophilic cytoplasm uh, no granules are present over here normally and uh, its normal count is 20 to 40 percent uh, its dlc and absolute count is 1500 to 4000 per microliter the other one is uh, monocyte and it is a big cell uh, 12 to 20 micron large lobulated intended with fine chromatin having uh, vacuoles and uh, it has granules but these are very fine granules and uh, its uh, cytoplasm is light basophilic it's normally present uh, in the peripheral is uh, its count is 2 to 10 percent and uh, absolute count uh, per microliter is 200 to 800 cells now we are performing dlc so which type of blood we required for it and uh, we, are, we have required the blood to make a peripheral blood smear so we need uh, capillary blood uh, or uh, we need venous blood normally we are taking venous blood so if we have capillary blood so these are different types of uh, capillary blood collection sites like we can collect it from the fingers we can collect it from heel we can collect it from air loops the most important step is focusing and uh, whenever we, we make a peripheral blood smear and then it become dry and then we put it under microscope and uh, we are looking for the different type of cells now so first uh, we are focus it on low power and uh, general formation of slide is observed over 40x uh, then uh, for differential wbc count and oil emerging object with around 100x that its magnification is used and whenever it become focused then we are start counting this is a diagram of a normal peripheral smear and it has three different parts uh, the first one is head uh, its its body and uh, here is its tail uh, choose an area near the junction of the body where with the tail of the smear and uh, after focusing uh, identify and count each type of cell start counting from the thick end of the film and move toward the thin end along a linear strip and uh, what is linear strip once the lens and uh, slides are in place the microscope should be focused with a fine edges and knob and uh, more light may be necessary for weaving a slide uh, under oil uh, this can be achieved by opening uh, the iris diaphragm under the stage or by turning up the rear state the smear should be examined following a zigzag path uh, is shown it here or uh, it's also called a battleship method you'll start counting from here then move forward then you will move uh, from here to here and then move upward then to right this is called a zigzag method and uh, when you are counting the wbc the procedure is counting until 100 uh, cells have been counted over here whenever 100 cells are counted your dlc is completed uh, then the counting of the cells can be done by uh, using a manual or uh, electronic uh, uh, counter this is a manual counter uh, or writing individual cells and recording the number of each cells in division of five uh, like here this is manually added by uh, a paper uh, here you can see that polymorph are 60 percent lymphocyte at 32 percent monocyte of four percent eosinophil of one percent and then basal are three percent 
so it should be uh, recorded uh, is manually over here or it here or sometimes we have uh, electronic uh, counter now things to remember if the count is very high uh, it is better to count uh, 200 to 500 cells in order to get an accurate idea of the relative number of the cells the second one is if there are nucleated red blood cells present they are not included in the WBCs. Remember that these NRBCs or nucleated red blood cells are not included in the WBCs. They are nucleated but they are not white blood cells. Uh, so uh, instead these are counted separately and reported as number of nucleated red cells per 100 WBCs. If one basophil appear in 100 cells then another 100 cells should be counted to estimate their correct percentage and uh, one thing that is most important that maturation stage are not normally seen in peripheral blood uh, band form can be seen in peripheral blood and if recorded separately these are normally not more than six percent of counted cells so these are the normal uh, reference ranges of uh, differential white blood cell count that uh, normally neutrophil uh, is 40 to 75 percent lymphocytes are 20 to 45 percent uh, monocytes are 2 to 10 percent eosinophil uh, 1 to 6 percent and uh, basophil are less than 1 to 2 percent so these are the normal percentage that are usually present on a peripheral cell and we are doing it uh, uh, manually and it's called manual differential leukocyte count uh, it is more significant in infectious uh, uh, it is important in certain types of leukemias and some other disease thank you very much for listening to the video it's all about the differential leukocyte count that what are actually differential leukocyte count how we are performing manual differential leukocyte count how many cells are required to calculate the differential leukocyte count and what is the normal values of these different leukocytes like uh, neutrophil of 40% to 75% or uh, monocyte and xenophil and then so on uh, so it's uh, enough for today thank you very much uh, we will see you inshallah in the next video